The end result for the once charming Lexus RX? Is a third line of seats a selling out of what the RX has been and dot to be? Or then again is the exemplification of what it generally was bound to turn into? Such are the epistemological predicaments that emerge with the entry of the 2018 Lexus RX 350L. The first RX 300 showed up as a 1999 model and changed the world with its godly blend of SUV-ish utility and a rich, Toyota Camry-determined V6 drivetrain. The equivocal term hybrid was made to clarify the RX 300. Now the world has been remade in its non-threatening, family-accommodating, close extravagance picture. The first RX was a major darn bargain. This most recent RX, then again, has turned into a major darn hybrid. The last first-gen RX 300 we tried, an all-wheel drive 2001 model, was 180.1 inches in length, had a 103.1 inch wheelbase, and weighed 4,023 pounds. The new RX 350L tried here, a front driver, extends 196.9 crawls from stem to stern, sits with on leg on each side of a 109.8 inch wheelbase, and weighed 4,487 pounds as per our scales. By Lexus numbers, the all-wheel drive form measures an extra 155 pounds. That 196.9 inch general length is 0.7 inch longer than an Acura MDX, yet the Acura rides on a 0.2 inch longer wheelbase. The RXL is as yet littler than, say, a Mazda CX-9. Be that as it may, the hole between them has contracted. To stuff a third column into the RX, Lexus engineers included 4.4 creeps of length behind the back haggles the rooftop to maintain its stature over the rearmost seats. Be that as it may, they didn't change the wheelbase. What's more, since the wheelbase is the same, the behind combine of entryways are no longer than those of the standard RX. The window outlines on the back entryways are somewhat changed to work with the taller rooftop, however pressing past the back wheel well to get to the third line of seats is a test notwithstanding for an unassumingly substantial 10-year-old. The second push seats will advance to enable real grown-ups to get back there, however what are they going to do with their legs once situated? Lexus asserts there's 23.5 crawls of legroom in the third line, versus 28.1 creeps in the Acura, however in the event that the second push inhabitants aren't coordinating by hurrying their seats forward, genuine legroom is practically non-existent. The third push seats are great just for incidental use by little youngsters. From an entirely utilitarian point of view, at that point, the extended tradition of the RX is an existence arranged vehicle. It's fine for those couple of years when you will once in a while need to oblige surplus tots for things like birthday parties at knocking down some pens back roads or when there's simply no real way to escape overseeing the kindergarten field trip. Be that as it may, once the children achieve the point where they're mature enough to crumble and make contentions, there won't be any delicate method to push them into those way back seats coordinated right, that point will arrive similarly as the rent on the RXL lapses. There are separate atmosphere controls and vents for third push travelers. That extra oxygen may shield them from getting tipsy as blood dissemination to their legs is cut off. Also, it might even adjust for the third line being vinyl secured while alternate seats are wrapped in bona fide dead cow skin. With a third line up, there's just 7 cubic feet of payload space accessible, a measly single solid shape for every one of the 7 individuals who can hypothetically be on board and 8 3D squares not as much as what's behind the MDX's third line. That at the top of the priority list, there is 23 cubic feet back there with the third line collapsed, and that is up from 18 in the 2 push RX. What's more, when both the second and third columns are down, the freight hold extends to 58 cubic feet, two 3D squares superior to the customary quality RX. Two cubic feet ain't much, yet it might be sufficiently only to press in one more toy poodle. In case you're into toy poodles, that might be basic. The mechanical substance of the RX 350L scarcely contrasts from that of the general RX 350. 
that implies it's fueled by the same 3.5-liter V6 found in numerous Toyota and Lexus models. Some place, possibly in the marginally longer fumes framework, 5-pole was lost, but is a 295-horsepower V6 in the RX350 turns into a 290-horsepower V6 in the RX350L. In case you're intending to go racing in your new RX, stay with the 2-push variant. Front-wheel drive is standard on the RX350L, while all-wheel drive is a $1,400 alternative. There's a